Welcome students to Possessive Adjectives Part 1. This is a grammar lesson for students of class 8. To introduce this topic, let's understand what the possessive adjectives actually are and what function they serve in a sentence. Okay, so let's do this in English and then we can apply it to French. It's the same thing. Okay, so look at these three examples. Look at the pictures and then look at the sentences. This bag belongs to me. Okay, what is a better way of saying that? Instead of if you don't want to use that word belong. Okay, how would you say it? You would say this is my bag. Right? Same way. This house belongs to my uncle. This is his house. These puppies belong to Nisha. These are her puppies. Okay? So instead of using this word belong and your sentence becomes a little elongated, you want to cut short your sentence, make it crisp. You use these words like my, his, her, your, are okay when you use those kinds of words they cut short your sentence sentences especially which are used to show belonging or sentences which are used to show possession of some kind okay so these words my his her your are they are okay these are all called possessive adjectives adjectives as in they describe the noun because my is describing the noun bag okay it's saying that the bag belongs to me. It's giving you more information about the noun. That same way, this word his is giving you more information about the noun house. Okay, so they are adjectives in that sense and possessive because they say whom or to what does the noun belong. Okay, that is the meaning of a possessive adjective. Now, in the part one of this video, we are going to look at the first three possessive adjectives. That is how you say my your and his and her okay now in english you just have one for each that is for if you want to talk about something belonging to me it is just my if you want to talk about something belonging to you it is just your okay and so on but in french you have three variants for each one in english okay so let's go through it in detail the first one the possessive adjective for je okay when something that belongs to me because je is i so in English, we are basically talking about my here, okay? The word, the possessive adjective, my. So you have three forms, okay? Mo, ma, and me. So mo is when you have a masculine singular noun. Ma is when you have a feminine singular noun. And me is when you have a plural noun, okay? When you have a plural noun, the gender doesn't matter. It is the same. For masculine and feminine plural, it is me only. So you don't have to worry about the gender when you're discussing. Plural nouns. Okay, so for example, say mon cartable. This is my bag. Mon because cartable is masculine. But say ma voiture. This is my car. Ma because voiture is feminine. Okay, so mon masculine, ma feminine. Ce sont mes amis. These are my friends. Whenever you talk about anything plural, it becomes me. Okay, now. There is one rule that you need to take note of and it's important, okay? Whenever you have a singular noun that starts with a vowel, okay? Singular noun starting with a vowel, you do not have to look at the gender of that noun. The possessive adjective for a singular noun starting with a vowel, when you want to say my, something belonging to je, me, it is mo by default, okay? A singular noun starting with a vowel, the possessive adjective is mo by default. So, say mon oncle. This is my uncle. Oncle starts with a vowel. It is singular. Straight away you have to put mo. This is my uncle. Say mon usine. This is my factory. Usine, it is singular and starts with a vowel. Straight away mo. Okay, so singular noun starting with a vowel. You want to say my. It is straight away mo. Let's go to the next possessive adjective which is for tu. Okay, for you in English it is your. Okay. So masculine singular, the style, the pattern is similar to what you have seen for mo, ma, me. Okay, it follows the same pattern except these will start with the letter T. Okay, so for masculine singular, it is ton. Feminine singular, it is ta. And masculine feminine plural, it is te. So say ton stilo, this is your pen. Because stilo is masculine singular, we use ton. Say ta mère, this is your mother. Because mère is feminine singular, we use Ce sont tes livres. These are your books. Okay, because it is plural, the gender doesn't matter. Remember when you're talking about plural, automatically te. Okay, now the same rule that you saw for mo, ma, me, that is when you want to say my, when it's a singular noun starting with a vowel, 
you use mo by default same way when you want to talk about something belonging to you when a singular noun starts with a vowel you straight away take it as to you don't consider the gender okay so say to no tell this is your hotel hotel singular starting with a vowel so to okay h is also considered a vowel and it's silent say to no pinyo opinion is your opinion okay this is your opinion so opinion is singular starting with a vowel o so you straight away give it to okay if you want to say this is my hotel say mon hotel this is my opinion say mon opinion okay you do not consider the gender when you're talking about singular nouns which start with vowels and the last person for this video is il and l okay Now remember, il and l is conjugated the same way when you talk about tenses. So in English, we are talking about his and her. Now in English, how do we distinguish between his and her? His is when the object belongs to a man, okay, or any male. His is when the possessor is the male. What is possessor? The one who holds the object, the one to whom the object belongs is the possessor. So in English, when the possessor is male, we use his, okay. But when the possessor is female, we use her. Okay, so in English the distinction is made based on the possessor who holds the object, but in French the distinction is not made based on the gender of the possessor. Okay, we are not bothered about whether it belongs to a man or a woman. That is not our concern. Our concern is the the gender of the what is being possessed, the gender of the object. Okay, so we don't care about whether the man is holding it or a woman is holding it. We are bothered about what is being held. Okay, what is possessed. We are bothered about that gender. So. Say soonly. Now, so sa say. Okay, for il and l. So say soonly. This is his bed or her bed. Now, why so? Masculine singular is for the li for the bed. Okay, not based on whose bed it is. So it could either be his bed, it could either be her bed. Now, from the picture, you can come to know that it is her bed that we're talking about. Okay, but so is because the object here li is masculine singular, not who holds the object. Okay. Say sa guitar. This is his guitar. Now same guitar is feminine singular. That's why we give it sa. Now you know that it is his guitar because you're looking at a man in the picture here. Okay, if there was no picture, it could either be this is his guitar or this is her guitar because sa is both his and her. We get it as sa based on the gender of the object guitar. Okay, so so ses lunettes. These are his glasses or her glasses. Now. From the picture, you can understand these are his glasses, okay? Because you're looking at a man. But the say has nothing to do with the gender of the possessor. It has everything to do with the gender of the object. Well, here not so much because when we're talking about plural, it goes for both masculine and feminine, okay? Now the same rule that you've seen for mo and to when the singular noun starts with a vowel, we use mo and to. Now when you're talking about his and her, you will also use so when a singular noun starts with a vowel. So say soon any back said it is his birthday or it is her birthday singular noun starting with a vowel in the picture you can see it's a girl's birthday so you can translate it as it's her birthday okay it can also be it's his birthday say so nicol it's his school or it's her school but from the picture you can see we're talking about a boy okay say so nicol a call is singular school starting with a vowel so you put so okay this is the common thread of exceptions that runs through the first three. types of uh, possessive adjectives so this is a summary table put it all together into one table so it becomes simpler for you to remember the first three persons possessive adjectives that is for je tu il and elle how you say my your his and her in the next part we will be looking at the uh, remaining three persons thank you